Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wild Plug. First of all, I want to start by saying apologies for missing out one Sunday. We had some technical problems, so we cannot do anything. Enough said, let's start. Detroit, check this out. Yo, my brother, what up? How is everything going? Tell me about yourself, man. My name is OG10. I've also been known as the original Mac 10. You see this soul, it's up in your face, so you can't miss. Lyrical tricks on the mix with a slight twist. The music of juice on the loose with a sweet twang. Girls of the world with a curl, call me sweet thing. And I've also recorded under the name The 10. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and I moved to Detroit, Michigan when I was two years old, and I've been in Detroit for the rest of my life. What kind of music do you listen to? Of course, I listen to hip hop. I like some grimy, underground boom bap with a little street edge to it. But other than that, I listen to all kind of music from R&B to jazz, to hip hop, to classical. If it's dope, I listen to it. If it's not, I don't. I don't have any particular genre that I'm loyal to. Uh, there's been periods of time when I haven't listened to any hip hop for a long time. I just find uh, what I like and that's what I stick to. What made you want to be part of music? Two things made me decide I wanted to be involved in music. Um, it was hearing the album Criminal Minded by Boogie Down Productions. No minded, you've been blinded looking for a style like mine, you can't find it. And uh, the album Critical Beatdown by the Ultra Magnetic MCs. Well, I'm the ultimate, the rhyme imperial. I'm better, but some don't believe me though. When I heard them two albums, that made me wanna, made me wanna rhyme and make beats professionally. Uh, I was making music locally with some. Uh, musicians and I eventually hooked up with a uh, rap click with my cousin and we started doing shows locally and after that the ball just started rolling who are your influences on the microphone my influences are the Blastmaster KRS-One and Cool G Rap I got a fly hoe up under the wing I swing it and does a thing And if you step inside my ring She'll bang it out and make your brain sing I also learned a lot from uh, I was influenced a lot by Cool Keith of the Ultra Magnetic MCs The way he likes to vary his rhyme patterns and whatnot uh, As far as producing I would say Sid G Of the Ultra Magnetics Uh he don't get enough credit. One of the hottest producers of all times. And also really uh, was influenced by the Bomb Squad of Public Enemy. Public Enemy is one of my big influences also. But it, it, the production style, the Bomb Squad, it's off the hook. What did you do as an artist till today? Let me see, the music that I released. Um, I was on a single called She's Out For The Cash with Treacherous T and Double K. That was a local hit. Um, we got Soul On The Roll. My friend Nitty move, shake and spit. My rhyme fitter, let your brain like a porno flick. Direct hit like a heat seeking missile. If I'm the meat, you ain't nothing but the gristle. As Mac-10, I was Mac-10 then. That one uh, was on vinyl on CNC Records. Then ended up uh, traveling all all around the world. I got interviewed all across Europe regarding that piece of vinyl, and that vinyl was a collector's item, and uh, that vinyl sells for as much as a thousand dollars a piece. Um, I released a single called "The Angel of Death" with Jack Frost and Captain Eel. 
my soul shackled She set the ransom just to get out For a second, gotta drink a 40 ounce of liquid death I'm on the step smoking meth with peeps Cause she told me it was love in the streets I need to speak with LAPD for certain I know that she was riding with Biggie in the suburban Spitting lies, she probably said she's a virgin A groupie that's shameless, make you an AIDS patient Um, under the alias The Ten then I uh, came back with an album, Heat. That was under the alias The Ten. And I dropped an album called Ghetto Music, which is an album from The Ten. And that also uh, had vinyl for a song called Player that did real well locally around here. Um, I did a project under the name Them Boys. Them Boys with P Groove and FedEx. Uh, we was really moving around the city. We had some hot singles that was making a lot of noise in the Detroit area. I really don't even remember why we stopped doing it because that, that thing was, was moving. Then uh, I released a mixtape called Ghetto Music Mixtape. By that time, creatively, I was on fire on that one. I got so much positive response and uh, that's about the time when I retired because I had complications with my recording process and some life changes and uh, that's when I slowed down and it eventually ended up retiring. But I was on fire at that time. I got so much response. I'm actually uh, trying to look and see if I can find any of those mixtapes right now. I still get people requesting that mixtape and that's pretty much uh, all of the releases that I've Put out. Tell me about your talk show. Well, I don't necessarily have a talk show. I am a content creator. So, I do have a YouTube channel called My Detroit Hustle TV. I have a podcast called the MyDetroitHustle.com podcast. I have the MyDetroitHustle.com playlist on Spotify and the website MyDetroitHustle.com. So when you see me sitting in a chair doing a lot of talking, it's for one of those platforms and also for social media. I do a lot of uh, marketing and promotion and pieces for social media. So yeah, I, I interview people and do all kinds of content, but I don't have a talk show per se. But now that you ask me, do I have a talk show? I'm, that's a, actually a pretty good idea. I might consider doing it. If you had a chance to do something for Detroit, what would it be? If I had to do something for Detroit, what would I do? Well, I would do what I'm doing right now. I'm a content creator and all of my platforms are for the purpose of being for artists what I needed when I was trying to be an artist. When I was going hard trying to be a star, there's certain level of support that I needed, certain opportunities that I needed. And that's what I'm out here trying to do for other people. It's not necessarily just for Detroit, it's for independent, unsigned artists, period. But, you know, people in Detroit have access to me. And I try to look out and create opportunities for artists without being political, without it just being about my crew or who I like or whatever. If you're out here hustling and you got some good stuff and when I decide to mess with you, I not only put you on the platform, but I try to promote everything that I do. So if I do an interview with you, you're going to know that your interview is being promoted. Probably I might promote you better, better or harder than your record label is or your management team is for whatever the, the extent of, the, of that project. So that's what I'm trying to be for artists and that's what I'm trying to do for Detroit and independent artists in general. Somebody that you can get to and put together something dope. You can collaborate on something. Maybe we can make some music or interview or uh, post on the website, but whatever it is, you're going to get a promotional push from dealing with MyDetroitHustle.com. What do you think of the evolution from rap to trap? Well, I don't really have an opinion about uh, rap evolving to trap. Like I said, I, I listen to all kind of music. I don't necessarily just stick to one genre besides hip hop. So 
everything is on a case by case individual basis if i hear a trap song that i like and i deal with it i like it but i i haven't made any trap and i don't i probably not going to but uh i mean it's like everything else it's cool what do you think about drill well as far as drill it's a similar thing as far as what i said about trap but i gotta be honest i like the beats and i hear the lyricism a lot more with the drill rap and if i was to make something besides what i make i probably probably would be interested in collaborating with a, a drill artist because to me is very similar to what i'm into now as far as uh the negativity that comes with the drill i'm not really with that you know disrespecting the dead and the, the gang banging and beefing and stuff like that i i don't i'm not really for that part of it but as far as the energy and the feel of the music and the beats and all of that i'm with it i, I, I like drill to be honest what would you choose between hip hop street hop rap trap and drill well, I'll put it like this. I like a combination of street, boom, bap. So I like, you know, I like the lyricism. I like that hard, boom, bap production. And, you know, I like a little street content with it. So uh, that would be the best description of, of, of my sweet, st sweet spot hip-hop boom bap street it's got to have the lyrics i like the boom bap beats and you know a little street little street uh subject matter never hurt i mean I, I mess with a little bit of everything but that's that's really what i'm into as far as what i listen to which is the song of an artist that strikes you the most by its punchlines and its bars probably the, the one of the dopest verses that I would point out would be uh cool G raps bad to the bone bad to the bone with a style like Al Capone I'm a smile while I'll give you the top tone the guy just gets up on a, a a banging beat with a bass line and just rips the thing apart there are a few memorable verses by different people, but I would say that Cool G raps bad to the bone. That's the one that stands out the most. That's the first thing that pops in my mind, if, if you ask me. Which artist do you choose between Drake, Biggie, El Cool J, and Triple X Temptation? I definitely would choose Biggie for the reasons that I stated as far as my choice in music. I like boom bap beats, I like lyricism, and I like a little street content. And that's pretty much where Biggie is. Biggie is right there in my sweet spot. Any shout out to a local artist that you believe in? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't just deal with local artists, but I got, I got a list of artists that I feel people really need to hear about that I really dig. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, my man on point. He's from Pontiac, that's, that's local. Uh, so my girl Aida, she's a uh, incredible lyricist. My man Big Bruh, he's out of Virginia. Uh, I'm feeling Indigo Phoenix. I believe she's in Atlanta, but she's a New Yorker. Uh, my man Jay Roberts, who's in Toronto, he's dope. And uh, my man Sidney Portier. I believe he's in Orlando, but he's another New Yorker. What do you think about the wild plug handled by AK Studio trying to connect the states with Europe and so on? Yo, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a pretty dope idea, the wild plug, making the connect from Belgium to Detroit. Uh, it's always dope when uh, people from different scenes connect. So I think it's dope, that's why. That's why I'm doing the interview. I wouldn't even be doing it if I thought it was a trash idea. Do you have anything to say to the Europeans that are watching us? What I do want to say to all my people out here in Europe, check us out, mydetroithustle.com. 
My Detroit Hustle TV on YouTube, which is My Detroit Hustle TV 6438. Uh, check out the MyDetroitHustle.com playlist on Spotify and uh, the MyDetroitHustle.com podcast, which is available on all streaming platforms. We got the dopest underground, independent, and unsigned hip-hop. We got the artists that you really need to hear. Uh, if you want to connect, get at me. We can work something out. Uh, and I believe that's all I got to say. Mercy la myth. Peace. Man, I really appreciate you. Thank you, everybody, for watching us. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, this time, yo, we got Detroit and tried to connect with more artists from there. And uh, yeah, merci la myth. This is the Wild Plug, AK Studio. I'm out. <laughs>